you just have to experience one concert. Won't you take you Retired Colonel William Holmes is among the captivated audience members listening to songs being sung by Cassandra Sandez and her band, professional musicians who are committed to using voice and song to thank veterans for their service. There is nothing that won't make your heart beat faster. If you have never heard her, you're going to, you're going to be very, very surprised tonight, very in awe of her talent. Cassandra or Cassie and her band perform live music from the era that these veterans served their country. World War II, Korean War, Vietnam, so everything that they've listened to, you know, during the war and when they were um, growing up. Cassie launched her nonprofit Voices of Vets after she discovered the power of live music during what she thought was a one-time performance at Charlotte's Hall Veterans Home in 2016. As soon as that music started, they lifted their heads. They started singing, they started talking. I did White Cliffs of Dover and I had this one guy trying to get out of his wheelchair and he said, I was there, I saw the White Cliffs, I was there. And it was at that moment that I thought, oh my gosh, here are our heroes. Here's our World War II veterans, the greatest generation, our Vietnam vets who came back with such a poor reception. They sit in these vet homes and they're lonely and nobody visits them. And this is something, this is something that they enjoy. This is magic. This brings them back, especially for those who deal with Alzheimer's or dementia and even stroke victims. Um, it's very therapeutic. Once the music starts, it doesn't take long before the audience is moved to sing and in some cases, get on their feet. The flags start waving when she's singing and it's, you see people's faces light up. You see, you know, we're not forgotten. Somebody knows us, somebody is thinking about us. Hosting tonight's concert at Camp Barrett in Annapolis is the Maryland Delaware DC Elks Association. We have a saying in the Elks that as long as there are veterans, we shall never forget them. The voices of vets just returned from Florida where they visited and sang at every veterans home in the state. But their big picture goal is to visit every state in the country. It's been a great run and uh, I take uh, great pride in realizing that Cassie started all this because of a course she took from me. It turns out Colonel Holmes is the former tutor who convinced Cassie to use her voice to give back to veterans three years ago. And it all goes back to Colonel Holmes telling me, go sing for the vets at Charlotte Hall when I was 18 and I at that time didn't have time, was busy with my life and in my mid-twenties went back and did that and it changed my life. And um, I will be forever grateful for Colonel Holmes for telling me that, but also how lucky am I, I get to spend so much time with our veterans and they're our true heroes. I'm Nancy Yamada for State Circle.